Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Today we are making another New Year's balloon garland. This one is very special because I am reviewing Party City balloons. I am curious. On top of Party City balloons, I bought a few other supplies to add into that balloon garland and hopefully this will turn out just as beautiful as I am imagining. Every single thing will be listed and linked in the description under the video, so go ahead and check it out. Without any further ado, let's go! Let's quickly go over everything that I have laid out over here. So I decided to go with this color. Party City does have a lot of colors to choose from, but this color caught my eye. So I bought 12, 5, and 24 inches of balloons in the same color. I might add some Qualitics in black color, 5 inch. I, did, I tried to match my foiled curtain streamer to my balloons and it looks pretty close in color. These guys over here, these stars, I'm extremely excited to use them. I've never used them before. These are 27.5 inches in diameter. I heard that these balloons, you need to sit down and really construct them as a puzzle. We'll see, we'll figure this out together. On top of all this, I am using electric balloon pump, 20 pound fishing line, and low temperature glue gun. To blow all of my balloons, I am using my electric balloon pump from Laura Dale Paper and Balloon Company. You can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout for any product you want to purchase from their website. I am pairing my balloons because I am using a 20 pound fishing line. I'm taking two balloons and I am blowing them at the same time. After I'm done filling my balloons with air, I am pressing my balloons against the floor or table to give my balloons more rounder shape. Now, I am tying my balloons together to create a pair like this. I am pairing my balloons 12 inch with 12, 5 inch with 5, and these 24 inch balloons, I am not sure. I might blow them individually or I might pair them. I haven't decided yet, we'll see. I paid $44.44 for these balloons from Party City. blowing all of my latex balloons now it's time to deal with our star balloons I went ahead I practice on one of the stars and the assembly of this star is a lot easier than you think don't let the star intimidate you it's not that crazy so each star comes in in this kind of like a booklet sort of a thing you know this cardboard unfolds and you have your balloon here this balloon comes in 12 pieces 12 separate point balloons that you need to inflate individually then you have if you open this cardboard this booklet you have whole bunch of instructions in two languages so English and some other language right here if you accidentally threw this out you have this paper right here with exactly the same instructions that this cardboard has first things first we need to blow our points as you can see I will be using my hand pump but you can use your electric balloon pump but you need to be careful if your electric balloon pump is warm you can melt this insert that foiled balloons or self-sealing balloons have in them and if warm air from your electric balloon pump will hit the insert you can melt the insert and 
balloon will start losing air and balloon will be basically ruined. So I am using my hand pump. Inflate all of you 12 points. Next step, we need to pair our points into pairs. Each point has this kind of like a ribbon attached to every single point. Don't tie your points really close together like I show you here because you'll have a little bit of trouble later on assembling your star. I like to keep my points a little bit further apart like this. So tie a knot. Keep pairing the rest of your points. a star I am taking a two pairs of points and I'm laying one pair on top of the other trying to center my knots taking my bottom point and twisting overlapping with my top point like this and doing this again Next pair goes right on top, again, centering my knot, taking one of the points from the bottom and twisting, interwining them with my newly placed point and doing this again. So I'm basically twisting two times to make sure my points, my pairs are really secured together. Next pair. Again, right on top, taking one of the oldest placed points and twisting with the newly placed point. I'm twisting two times. This is what you will get when your star is completely assembled. Here is my trial run. This is my first star that I made. And as you can see here, this point popped on me because I did um, tie my points way too close together and I didn't have enough space between my points to twist my pairs interwind them together and just because I was kind of pushing and you know trying to shove this point over another this one popped make sure you don't tie your points too close together you will be having this problem To construct our balloon garland as I said I am using 20 pound fishing line I am taking my fishing line and tying it to my first pair of balloons taking my second pair and placing my second pair right on top of my first pinching those two pairs with my fingers taking my fishing line and wrapping around one of the newly placed balloons pull on your fishing line and push your pairs together again around newly placed balloon pull on your fishing line push on your pairs be careful how hard you pull on your fishing line because fishing line can cut your balloons and balloons will start deflating if you'll cut your balloon with a fishing line start twisting your balloon like a light bulb until you will close that hole where you cut it with your fishing line and your balloon will be saved i will be working only with 12 inch balloons to create a base and then i will deal with my 5 inch and 24 inch balloons I 
for your balloon garland, cut a long piece of a fishing line, hold it with one hand, with the other, wrap around one of the balloons. Now you created this loop over here. So take that tail and feed it through that loop, pull on your tail. That way you're creating knots and your balloons won't go anywhere. Repeat that a couple or a few times. My base is ready. As you can see, this is like straight up column shape garland. I want to switch things around. I want to fix this shape by playing around with balloons and creating a different wavy organic looking shape. So I took the base out because I have too many balloons laying around. I want to deal with my loose balloons, loose pairs, and then I'll have a little bit more room, you know, to walk and actually hang my balloon garland. So what I'm doing is I'm taking two pairs of the same size and I am interwining them together to create clusters of four like these. I am pairing 12 with 12 black with black, five with five. I'm not mixing up the colors, so let's go. garland is on my backdrop it's looking really cute exactly what I wanted from this base now how I hang all of my garlands I will link a video of commonly asked questions about balloon garlands in the description under this video in that video I show an up close how I hang all of my garlands using backdrop and how I hang all of my garlands using command hooks so please check that video out I'm pretty sure it will be helpful and you'll find other answers on other questions as well. Now, the fun part's gonna start right now. This is my favorite part. I am taking my clusters that I made a little bit earlier in this video. I'm taking my low temperature glue gun. You can take your glue dots or anything else that you want to use and start building, start shaping, start having fun with your balloon garland. Also, quickly wanted to mention this apron that Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company sent me. This is very handy if you are working with balloons and making a lot of balloon installations and creations. This apron has a lot of pockets. It has eight pockets and it can fit a lot like your scissors, fishing line, glue sticks, glue dots, anything you want. Very handy. I will try to find this uh, apron on Lauderdale Paper and Balloon Company and I will link this apron in the description under the video.
not least our curtain. This curtain is beautiful. The color is stunning. Quality is great. In the back of this curtain, there is a sticky part that you can peel off the top of paper portion and you can uh, glue it to your wall or any other surface that you need to put this um, curtain on. I'm not sure if I want to use it. I feel like this will be too much. I'm not sure yet. I will play around with it maybe here and there and then we'll see what I'm going to come up with. Here is what I have for you guys today. Totally and absolutely in love with this whole setup. You guys, I am loving Party City balloons. Quality is great. They are soft, very nice to the touch, easy to work with. None of the balloons popped, not deflated. I mean, I only lost one five inch balloon. It was kind of defected and had this funny shape. So I scratched that balloon and one balloon from all this quantity of balloons that I used for this garland. I mean, it's amazing. So I know where to get good quality balloons now. These black balloons, they are from Qualitex. You guys, Qualitex is always good. None of, none of the balloons in black color deflated, had holes. I mean, every single balloon is here. Great. These foiled balloons, they are good quality as well. Some of the points started losing air, but it's not as noticeable. They just became a little bit um, softer than the rest. I glued them with my low temperature glue gun. I mean, everything was attached to my base with the help of my low temperature glue gun, except this streamer. The best way for this streamer is to peel off that paper that I showed you that the streamer had and glued with that sticky part that this streamer already had or has on its other side. Just glue it and cut it if you want it like I did. If you want to save and reuse those cutoff streamers, you can always do what I did here. I took a piece of paper, as you can see, took my low temperature glue gun and glued every single streamer, like a bunch of them, like put it on my paper, put some glue and folded the paper in half so the glue would penetrate through all of the streamers and would hold the streamers very well. And then I took my low temperature glue gun again, put a little bit on the paper and just glued it to the balloon. It holds it very, very well. And that way you can reuse more streamer and um, have more sparkle in your decor. Everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video. If you have any questions, comment below and I will share a few pictures at the end of this video as well. That's it, you guys. This is it. This is my take on this party city balloon garland. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try to help you out to the best of my ability. If you enjoyed this video and this video was helpful and inspiring, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with family and friends. That's always helpful. If you're new here for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos and more ideas. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye!